I got to cover this because Noons, this is Devin Noons, sues Twitter. Some users seek $250 million because alleging anti-conservative shadow ban smears. California GOP rep representative, this is the House of the Congress House. Devin Noons filed a majority, a major lawsuit seeking $250 million in compensatory jam damages and 350000 in punitive damages against Twitter and a handful of its users on Monday, accusing the social media site of shadow banning, yes, 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 uh -huh. conservatives to secretly hide their posts, systematically censoring opposing views, and totally ignoring lawful complaints of repeated abusive behavior. Yes, so finally, we have somebody in the government that's going to do something about this shadow banning because when twitter runs the show they can just go no no and every time it's a left you see these people on the left talking about uh killing people doing whatever they're fine anybody on the right says something that's not agreeable to the uh, narrative they're gone like even uh learn to code they ban people for saying that to reporters oh you, you guys were harassing them if anybody saw that uh, Joe Rogan podcast where the, the Twitter execs and his uh, Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter and his uh, lawyer there were on that show and they grilled them pretty good. Uh, hats off to uh, Tim Pool on that one. So definitely looking forward to that. Let me play this clip real quick as well from Fox. Maybe. <laughs> Stuff happens, folks. We're live. Here we go. What's happening is, is that is that Twitter becomes the gaslighting for all of the news. And when they're regulating us, they're regulating what people can see on my tweets, which they've done, and then they're, they're proliferating out things that they agree with, with the algorithms that they develop. They need to come clean. That's California Congressman Devin. Perfect. Exactly. So it's going to be awesome to see Jack Dorsey hit the road, Jack. I mean, you come up with a service like that, and then you're going to sit there and tell people what they can and can't stay in there. I know I, that's the thing, though. You get into this uh, issue of it's a service. It's their service. You're on your, their platform. Well, at some point, it's starting to become a utility, just like your phone. Can you cut people off on their phone lines for not disagreeing with the, the phone company's initiative? No, you can't. So I think something's got to change there.